Hello all, in this video we will see about CPITN index that is Community Periodontal Index of Treatment Needs. The probing procedure is as follows. First, you should know the purpose of probing so that you could go on with the procedure to probe. The purpose, as I said already, is to determine the pocket depth, to detect subgingival calculus and also to check for the bleeding response. The probing force is divided into working component and sensing component. To check the probing depth, you need to use the working component and to for calculus detection, just sensing component is enough. While probing, the ball end is kept in contact with the root surface. That is, it should be in contact with the root surface. The direction should be parallel to the long axis of the tooth. You should not tilt the probe, but it should be parallel to the long axis of the tooth for accurate pocket determination. Sensing component includes the lightest possible force. It differs from the working component. So what will be the working force? It should be less or equal to 20 grams of force. Practically, how you will know whether it is 20 grams of force? You can check it by yourself, gently inserting the probe point under the finger bed as shown here. And without pain or discomfort, the force you exert, it is 20 grams of probe, uh, force. The walking the probe is the method used. Six points are at least calculated like mesiobuccal, midbuccal, distobuccal, mesiolingual, midlingual and distolingual. Now what is the examination procedure? We saw about the probing procedure. In each extent, more than one functional tooth if it is present, then you can examine the index teeth or all teeth depending whether it is an epidemiological survey or a clinical purpose. But if there is not even one functional tooth, then mark X for that sextant. Check for 6 mm pockets first or greater than 6 mm pockets, then 4 to 5 mm of pockets next, then calculus, then pleading on probing. You should check in this order as score increases in this order. So we will see about the score criteria and codes criteria for CPITN. You should remember that the codes are code 4 to code 0 in this order, whereas the treatment needs will increase for each code from below upwards. I will show you how it works. For example, you can neglect code X here, whether if it is less than one tooth in each extent, as I told, you have to mark code X. When the code is given is 4, that is, when the pathological pocket is greater than or equal to 6 mm, then the treatment need will go as follows. TN3, that is complex treatment with scaling, root planning, planing and surgical procedure, will go for code 4. Code 3 is given when 4 to 5 mm of pathological pocket is present. Then you should remember it has sense like this. T treatment need 2B, that is need for sc SR scaling, root planing and oral hygiene instructions are given then you can go to code 2 that is supra or subgingival calculus is present then in such conditions need for scaling along with oral hygiene when there is code 1 that is gingival bleeding after gentle probing is present you give code 1 then the treatment need 1 goes for that improved personal oral hygiene is what advice to the patient Code 0 is for no signs of disease and no need for periodontal treatment. So we saw about CPITN index in short. The exact words of the index are given in your book. You should need to know that for your exam purpose. I gave a simplified version for you to understand. So please go through your textbook of public health dentistry for understanding more about the code and treatment needs and more about the inclusion exclusion criteria of each tooth so see you soon in the next video thank you